What's up, it's your boy Remus. Welcome back to Remus Boxing News where we cover the latest trending topics in the boxing world today. And today we're covering the super fight which is happening September the 17th, I believe, between Canelo, Triple G. It's the third fight, guys. These two guys have had two fights before that were closely contested and they've just completed two presses for the trilogy. You know, we're gonna get to see who can settle this thing after rule and come out definitively on top because although Canelo uh, was given the decision I mean we're split in between who we believe really won those fights now for the presses of the press tour that have been taking place uh, there's been an extreme amount of tension like an extreme amount because although we think that after the second fight it was all good um, apparently Triple G said some things that made Canelo now uncomfortable now after Canelo's loss, he specifically said that he is more dangerous than ever and perhaps even more so because he's not happy with those comments that Triple G has been making since their last fight. It's personal for me because he talked a lot of things and you know, guys, that's why it's personal. And I just I just can't wait to, to, to be in that ring. And Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, it's, he's two different people. He pretends to be a nice guy, but he, he's no, he's an asshole. That's what he is. He pretends to be a nice guy and, oh yes, I'm, I'm just looking for the fight, I'm happy and then, and, but in other place he talk a lot of shit. That's, it is what it is. Just be a man and say what you say. One knockout on yeah. September 17th. That's, that's, that's the only way I, I want to finish this fight. So as you can see, Canelo is super annoyed with Gennady. He feels that he's been, you know, um, you know, like when someone's being snaky and they don't say something to you, but they say it behind your back, right? You can see Canelo is really annoyed about that. But Triple G didn't necessarily take the bait. And he maintained that nice guy image, you could say, that Canelo actually hates him for. I do not take this as personal. I uh, think this sport, I am who I am. I do not try to be like two different guys, like it's been said. I go out to box. If he has something personal against me, I believe it's his problem, not mine. For him saying that it's personal, I really don't understand what he's talking about because after the second fight, we shake hands uh, and uh, I believe we put everything behind us back then. And uh, if he says that he still has something against me, I believe it's, again, it's his problem, not mine. I think in, the, in that fight, that's what I think, the same way. He's saying, and, and that's it, we change hands. Uh, but after that, he starts talking. So, no makes sense. But uh, it is what it is. I'm just glad to be here, and I, I can't wait. So, as we see there, um, you know, Triple G is not going for it. Uh, he's trying to stay, you know, level-headed about the situation, I guess you could say. Um, Eddie Hearn in the second press conference then actually, you know, he's such an instigator, I guess. He's trying to get that good content. But he read out the stuff that Triple G was saying in those, um, uh, you know, in the interviews that he would have done, right? But at the end of the day, Tri Triple G likes the fact that Canelo is taking it so serious because, you know, in the second press conference in New York, he was saying that it will be a more explosive fight because of all of this animosity and uh, seriousness that has built up. Absolutely, I feel very comfortable, you know. If he said he wanna destroy me, it's a big bonus for all people, all fans, boxing fans, you know, like I, I told you. September 17, amazing fight for both, not just only for me or just only for him, for all fans, for all boxing fans. We're going to get a big drama show, guys, it looks like. And just to let you know how serious Canelo is about, uh, you know, this fight, he's clearly stated that he wants to finish Gennady off. He wants to retire him. He said, I'm going to be the last fighter that Gennady faces because he's going to retire him. That's a big statement. And in order to do that, he's vowed to come forward. He's coming forward. He's not giving Gennady a chance. He said, I want to be standing over him. So it doesn't matter if he's reckless. Does it? Well, I don't think he's, I wouldn't think that Canelo would be reckless, but he said, it doesn't matter if it's risky, I'm going forward like a tank. I don't want to be this fighting going to distant. I think this is going to be the, 
the best fight of us. If you want something like I want for, for this fight, if you want something, you need to risk. And I know, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to, to risk something to accomplish what I want. Ooh, with that type of statement, it's looking good. And with the level that these guys are at, I would say this perhaps could be my personal personal favorite fight of this year. Um, it could be a it could be a banger. I do think you know, despite Triple G's age, I can see him performing extremely well because I think their styles just mesh together in such a perfect way. Um, uh, but I want to know, what do you think, right? How do you see this fight going? Do you think the age is going to play a difference? And who do you even really f think won those last two fights? And who do you think will win this fight? So comment down below. Let Remus know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.